Right, uh, methyl amine is a weak base. So you know these uh, two uh, electrons as the lone pair can be uh, given to uh, Lewis acid or any acidic compound. So this can give. The following equilibrium exists in an aqueous solution. So how this base nature is formed. So it can do the uh, acid base reaction with water. And here OH minus is given out, which is essential for higher pH than 7 at 25 degrees Celsius, which shows this is a weak base. Right? So we will discuss uh, what are the questions uh, based on that. So write the expression for KB. So this is straightforward. So you can write on KB is equal to uh, this salt concentration. So here, this is a physical chemistry question. So you have to put all the possible states as far as necessary. So aqueous concentration and OH minus aqueous concentration. Don't forget these things to put the physical states. And then um, you forget about the uh, water here. And then it will be CH3, uh, NH2. It was concentration, right? So this is the KB expression. And the second question says at 25 degrees Celsius, the pH value of uh, 0.2 MOLDA minus 3 aqueous solution of methyl amine, methyl amine is 11. So pH is 11, right? pH is 11. So you have to calculate KB. So you have to just plug into this expression and find KB. So if pH is 11, you can tell this H plus concentration is uh, 1 into 10 to the power minus 11. Or either you can explain if pH is 11, pOH is 3, right? And OH minus concentration is 1 into 10 to the power minus 3, right? MOLDA minus 3. So put all the units and everything. Okay. So you can then tell in the above equilibrium, OH minus concentration is equal to CH3, NH3 plus concentration, right? So you can put this KB expression, KB is equal to 1 into 10 to the power minus 3 squared. You have to put the unit first, then squared. Over the concentration is 0 0.2, right? Because you don't uh, you neglect the dissociation of this. So you can have the KB expression here nicely. So KB is not. It would be 10 to the power minus 6 over uh, 2 into 10 to the power minus 1. So here there will be 10 to the power minus 5. So half means 0 0.5 into 10 to the power minus 5 m, which is 5 into 10 to the power minus 6 m. So this is the KB. Right, so a volume of 25 cubic centimeter of the solution 2 above was titrated with uh, 0 0.2 uh, mHCl at 25. Calculate the pH of the solution at the equivalence point. So here uh, I will use the board here to explain uh, because uh, it would be easy for me to guide uh, through the uh, question, right? So the idea is, uh, so we have methyl amine, right? CH3 NH2 uh, aqueous solution. So this is uh, 25 cubic centimeter and uh, its solution above 2 means the concentration is also given, it should be 0.2 M. And this is uh, reacted with HCl, uh, which is uh, 25.2 M. So you can see the stoichiometry between these two is same, right? Uh, the stoichiometry is same. So what is going to be formed here? CH3, uh, NH3 plus, and uh, Cl minus, right? Then this uh, titration is carried out. This is what normally is going to happen, right? And uh, don't forget at the uh, end point or the equivalence point, 
there will be only this species because these two are going to completely react because the stoichiometry is one is to one and same amount should be reacted as per given in the information. Then here, uh, description in fact, and here what is going to happen at equal point? So you need to find what are the species when you have a statement, find the pH of this solution at any time, you have to find what are the species present at this point. So at the equivalence point, you have only these two, CH3 and H3 plus, and the other one is uh, Cl minus. So there is not going to have nothing going to happen with Cl minus. Cl minus is just going to be hydrated in the solution by water molecules. But don't forget this one, because this is going to happen here. CH3 and H3 plus with water. What is going to happen now? This is the idea. So now it will form its dimethyl amine plus this H plus is going to give by water to form H3O plus. Since H3O plus is formed, now the expression is Ka, not Kb. Don't forget that. So my Ka expression, capital Ka expression, will be the concentration of uh, NaCH3 NH2 equals times the H3O plus equals concentration over the salt concentration right so don't forget that and how can i find this ka because this is the base and this is the conjugate acid so that is why they have given the kw so you know for this one you know kb we found that that is 5 into 10 to the power minus 6m and we have the expression kw is equal to ka dot kb so this is 10 to the power minus 14 m squared and ka is unknown and kb is uh, 5 into 10 to the power minus 6 so you can first find ka that is done then you can uh, take this as uh, h3o plus uh, equals squared because you know these two concentrations should be equal at equilibrium. And for this one, you have to think about this reaction. Because the, when you consider about the number of moles here, it will be 0 0.225 into 10 to the power minus 3 moles, right? So this same amount of moles is going to react with same amount of moles. Hence, the salt is formed at same amount, right? So here, 0 0.225 into 10 to the power minus 3 moles is going to react here. So finally, these two are not there, but here the same amount 0 0.2 into 25 into 10 to the power minus 3 moles is going to be formed because these moles are equal now. Here it is forming, here it is compensating. Okay, but don't forget the volume. Because when you add 25 cubic centimeter of this and HCl 25 cubic centimeter, now the final volume is 50 into 10 to the power minus 3 decimeter. Okay, so that is the important of considering the volume. Because if you neglect about the volume, your concentration is still the same as the concentration of these two. Initial 0.2, but it is not. Here you can see you can cut these two, and in fact, you, you would see this concentration is 0 0.1 because the volume is double. Then concentration is half. Then you can put here that 0.1 m. So we uh, avoid the uh, neglect the dissociation of the uh, conjugate acid here, conjugate base, in fact. Uh, because uh, we get the degree of dissociation as very, very minimal. Okay. So here you have to find this one. You know this one and you know this one. And uh, the only thing that you don't know is H3O plus uh, aqueous concentration. So you can find H3O plus aqueous concentration. And then you can plug here. Right pH is equal to minus log H3O plus concentration. So you have to put here and find pH. Okay, so that is a very uh, typical uh, question that we discuss in the theory class. So I will share the screen again. So you see some uh, big spaces given here to do all this stuff. Okay, you write down the reaction, 
to find the amount of moles of this uh, CH3 and H3 plus C form and to find its concentration and then write down the hydrolysis and mention H3O plus C squared concentration and then finally do the calculation and find pH. So you have to find the pH. Okay. So this is done. So the first part is done, right? And the second part, in an experiment, a limited uh, volume of uh, 1.0 ml NH3 was added to a precipitate. So here there is a precipitate, uh, which is uh, a max solid. Okay, nice. And uh, I think I should use uh, bo the board here as well. Okay. So I'm going to erase this. So since you have the video, so you can uh, go very slowly. If you, if my uh, explanation is fast. Okay. So you have a precipitate which is a uh, MX solid. Uh, that is what uh, they have mentioned in the question. So we will read out the next one. And one M, it's no three is added, right? So one M, one point zero M H N O three is added. And the system was allowed to reach equilibrium and uh, resulted in a partial dissolution. So you know this should be in, a, in equilibrium, X minus AQ equilibrium, right? And it takes form as a behave as an weak acid as well. So when you have H plus HNO3, when you will have H plus and NO3 minus. So typically these two can combine. Don't forget about that. These two can combine and uh, will form HX, right? So there will be this precipitate uh, HX equilibrium as well. AQ, H plus, AQ, X minus AQ. Okay, so let's move on to the questions. Write chemical reactions for the equilibria existing in the above solution. So the reaction that is going to happen, the first there will be this dissociation giving H plus and NO3 minus, but you cannot write this reaction because this is a irreversible reaction, but they are asking about the equilibrium reactions. So one equilibrium reaction that I can see here is this, because they have mentioned about this one. The second is this, they have mentioned about this one, but don't forget these are aqueous solution. So there will be another equilibrium like this, right? H2O giving H plus and OH minus. So this equilibrium also present in this system. So these three equilibriums uh, should be written in your answer script, right? Right, so next one. Uh, calculate X minus in the solution, assuming that the dissociation of HX is negligible, okay? The solubility of uh, MX is given. So we have to find X minus concentration here, right? Now we will come to that. First, we have to identify what is actually happening. So initially, there was a precipitate like this, right? So this precipitate, when you add HNO3 equals, there is this equilibrium that M plus and X minus is formed. But don't forget, when you add HNO3, there is H plus, which can combine with this x minus and form this hx and this hx again can give you another different equilibrium to your x minus again but don't forget here these two concentrations have to be very very same why because this equilibrium that maintains ksp and this equilibrium that maintains ka cannot have two different X minus concentration in the same solution. So we have discussed this many times, right? But for our easiness, they have given, forget about this dissociation here, right? So we have to only concern with this particular equilibrium. So that is KSP expression, which is M plus equals concentration times X minus equals concentration, right? So KSP is given, right? So the KSP is given and the value of it is 
13 to 10 to the power minus 7 uh, m uh, squared. And what is the concentration of m plus? Now, this is the point where you have to understand one point. Because think about the fact here when you add 1 m HNO3 to this mx, don't forget when this reaction happens yes there is h plus and no3 minus so m plus and x minus is there so this could will form the hx but this two will form mno3 right so when you add one m hno3 a little bit don't forget there is mno3 that will form the same amount right so the concentration of m plus here also will be 1.0 m so this is one point that you have to uh, understand in this uh, particular question otherwise you are in trouble okay so don't forget to uh, understand so here you know this is 1 m and you can find x minus a q concentration as the same j.6 so you can put here the units and the power minus 7 m that is very simple right so this is a typical uh, explanation for this and the next question uh where is it next question is uh, giving reasons explain whether x minus in a saturated aqueous solution of mx at 25 degrees is equal to smaller than or greater than the value obtained ah, okay so in this question they are completely going away from this part now they are just thinking about a saturated solution then which only depends upon this ksp expression which is uh, 3.6 into 10 to the power minus 7 m squared now will be these two concentrations because now we don't have hno3 so there will be no effect from that so this m plus and x minus concentration will be equal now so you can directly write as x minus equals to the power 2. So you can just take the root here. <coughs> so I can make here this one as 36 and this one as minus 8. So when I get the root, so my x minus equals concentration would be root of 36 is 6 and root of 8 is uh, 10 to the power minus 4m. Okay. So this will be my uh, concentration x minus. So what is the difference? In the saturated solution, you can see the x minus concentration is very high. But here the x minus concentration is very low. Right? So what is the main reason for that? The main reason for that is although you think here this only this equilibrium exists, don't forget sum of this x minus is now taken by this h plus in the medium from hno3 to form hx therefore the total overall amount of x minus is lower in the solution because hx is favorable than this dissociation right because this have no to the power minus value so hx is more favorable in nature in the solution therefore the amount of x minus is very low here okay so that is what here there's a clear effect right so you have to uh, mention uh, in this question whether it is uh, equal smaller or greater so you may have seen that it is a little bit greater right and the uh, reason is because of hno3 uh, x minus can combine with uh, h plus to form hx so but in the saturated solution there is only uh, m plus and x minus right so that is the uh, answer for this particular thing